Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Mystic, Connecticut in New England in the northeast of the US and today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting New England and I'll be honest it is gorgeous up here because you have so many beautiful cute towns like here in Mystic, Connecticut or just going up the coast of Maine and seeing those things there and the landscapes and the nature that's here whether you're in the mountains of Vermont oh my god it's so gorgeous there or the coastlines there's just so much beauty and wonderful things to do here great little villages and towns to stay at cute little motels cool cities like Boston Austin, but, but I'm not going to go on that. What I want to focus on today are the don'ts for when you do come up here, okay? Because you should come up here. It's really cool. And my first don't for you is don't be surprised by the New England shield. It's kind of like this shield they put up, the people put up here to kind of like, oh, you're from New York or you're from Illinois, you're from California, whatever kind of feel you have. Don't let that put you off because the thing is, is the people actually are really nice. They will help you. They'll tell you where the best places to eat are. They'll tell you, you know, hey, that you should check this village out or check this town out or go here, go there. The people are really cool when you're up here, but they're not going to necessarily bring you into their home, okay? This is one of those, those places that they're really helpful, but they're really helpful when you're out there, okay? Now, if you actually, you know, crack through that hard shell, that, that New England shield, they're even so much more welcoming to you, so it is great, but just have a heads up that that New England shield is a real thing, but don't worry about it because the people will help you. Now my next don't for you is probably going to be the one that drives you the most crazy when you're up here and that is don't go crazy when you drive I-95. Look, if you're not from the U.S., I-95 is a highway that goes up and down the coast, the east coast of the U.S., and it is insane driving. But when you get from New York into New England, it gets even more crazy for some reason, and it really can drive people crazy. So don't go nuts when you're on I-95. Have patience when you're there, because it can be quite frustrating. And, and don't think that by taking the back roads it's going to be easier, because all the locals are trying to take those too. So congestion and traffic is just one of the things you have to deal with and another thing you have to deal with when it comes to the traffic are the mass holes look don't let the mass holes get to you mass holes is what they basically call like the, the really aggressive kind of drivers kind of stuff which you'll see on i-95 we're weaving through and stuff like that don't let them get to you have your patience and realize that that person that's getting frustrated with you, they're dealing with so many tourists coming through here that you can kind of understand stuff, but realize that they'll be good people when they actually help you out later on, okay? Another don't I have for you is when you're gonna be coming up here, don't stay at the, the chain hotels. I mean, there's plenty of chain hotels. If you wanna do that, it's not a problem, but stay at a and b or a motel or some cottages. That's the really true authentic experience when you come up here. I remember a few years ago, we were up in Maine, in Belfast, Maine, and we stayed at this set of cottages cottages out there and they had a bonfire you could make and it was right on the water and it's just gorgeous we stayed at bed and breakfasts in different places we're out in nature it's really a great thing so don't think you have to stay at a hotel go and search a bit more for those bnbs and the thing is they don't all show up on tripadvisor or booking so sometimes you do a little bit more research contact the tourism board of the place you're going to go they'll have some recommendations too and that can really help you out and when you are booking those places, don't forget to book early if you're gonna come for leaf peeping season. Yeah, you know, when the foliage change and the tourists mad rush up here, it is gorgeous. Jocelyn came up here last for it, last year for it and just loved it. But you make sure you book ahead, especially for those really cute cottages and stuff. Otherwise, you probably will be staying in a hotel. So do book early for those. And the high seasons in July and August, you definitely wanna book early, okay? Now, when you are driving around, you might notice our next don't. And that is, don't expect the cell service to be great everywhere in New England. Look, New England, when you, if you're just driving I-95, you think, man, it's got people the entire way up. There's, it's all New England is full of people. Actually, if you go to a place like Vermont, it's one of the like two smallest populated states. I mean, there's more people in DC than there's in the whole state of Vermont, and it's gorgeous. But you, since with such like low population density, sometimes there's not as many cell towers, so a signal can be a bit tough to come by if you're going like in the mountains and stuff like that. So just have a heads up when you are doing those things. So if you're using your GPS on your phone, download the off or download the offline map. So you have that as well, but you should be okay. But that's one thing I have noticed is that signal does drop a lot. And we were up in New Hampshire and Northern Vermont, it was like hit and miss. And sometimes we get the Canadian service. So then AT&T is like, oh, you are in an international roaming zone. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. We are really close to the border. So just have a heads up for that one. Um, oh, speaking of Vermont, this one you gotta, I, I have to tell you, don't drink anything up here except for New England beer. 
they have awesome beer up here. And for me, the two best states with local beer, Vermont is number one and Connecticut is number two. I mean, there's good ones in the other places, but those are the ones I've loved the most. And so when you're going to pick up your beer, pick up the local stuff. Sadly, the Vermont beer, for some reason, they don't export as much as I wish they would. So you're only gonna see that sometimes. But if you get into Vermont, man, just stock up, okay? It is awesome. And I guess another don't I should tell you about the liquor here is don't expect to be able to buy alcohol at normal stores. Look, if you're in New Hampshire or Vermont, Maine, stuff like that, there's actually state-run liquor stores that you have to go to to buy your liquor. So that can be a little strange. You're like, hey, I want to go pick something up. And you go in the, the store and you're like, hey, where's where's the alcohol? Oh, no, you have to go to a liquor store for that. I'm like, oh, oh, really? Yeah. So there might be other stores for that. Also, don't expect to easily find alcohol on Sundays because some places they close early uh, selling liquor on Sundays or sometimes it might not be open on Sundays. So just have a heads up for that. Um, but, but another don't is don't worry about not getting the beer because if you go to the local restaurants, they always carry local beer there. So you'll be totally happy. Okay, so drink up and enjoy. But, you know, don't drink and drive, obviously, but do enjoy it when you are here because it is awesome. And some other don'ts I could should say, like the fun with the food and drink mix is don't forget to eat the local special. Yes, you are going to have lobster throughout on the coast and the lobster rolls in Maine are fantastic So don't be afraid to pull off the side of the road when you see a, a lobster roll stand Just pull off grab one have it enjoy it love it be it and then hop back in and, and take off I mean we've stopped at them because someone had little playgrounds for the kids the kids would play Joss and I have a lobster roll chat for a bit and then we'd be back on our way that's great the New England clam chowder oh my god it is so good and yes just like anywhere in the world when you go to the place where the name is it's always better it is amazing here the oysters that are here I mean it's just such great seafood when you're here, you are here don't skip out on that but also don't skip out on the fun little things like whoopie pies which is like it's like a chocolate cake sandwich with with, with cream in the middle that was so good the boys and I really enjoyed that there's Necco wafers you can have things like that yes of course the Boston baked beans and the, the Boston cream pies that are out there it's oh my god there's so many good local things you can have and you know they have their little silly you know local treats like you can make at home I mean you can have a, a fluffer nutter at home which is just instead of peanut butter and jelly it's peanut butter and, and marshmallow fluff you can have those things there's all these cute little things that are here so make sure when you're going to those restaurants or those B&B's and stuff like that ask hey you know is it clams should I get should, should I get mussels or steamers or or what should I get when I come here they will let you know and they will tell you the best place to have those but don't skip out on the local beer and the local food I mean obviously but here especially that way another don't I have is it's gonna be easy for you to do that because don't expect to see a lot of chain restaurants I found in New England you don't have as many of the fast food joints and you don't have as many of the uh, of the big chains fast casual places you have a lot more local mom and pop places which is really cool or New England chains so do check out those and enjoy those things um, and, and when you're drinking here if you don't want alcohol don't be surprised if you see more flavors of seltzer water like bubble water than you see soda it's crazy they love that stuff up here huh, now now one don't though I have for you that's that's not so happy is don't expect to hear that hardcore Boston accent too often look New England it's 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 a big region and people don't sound like that you know we're from Baston and blah 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 you don't you don't actually hear that too often which is funny because I didn't hear it at all at Boston until I got on the Amtrak train to come back to Mystic so so don't be sad if you don't hear it you might hear it but but don't really be surprised if you if you don't hear it okay oh another don't with Boston around there is if you didn't know that uh, Dunkin Donuts is actually from New England and they love Dunkin Donuts okay and I'm gonna tell you right now you might not log Dunkin Donuts but as a traveler as a tourist it might be your best friend for breakfast when you are up here because it's everywhere okay and so that's gonna be your coffee donut snack place for the mornings just a heads up for that one another don't I have for you is when you are talking to the locals what you need to know is don't bother talking about any other sports or any other teams except for the ones from New England or maybe New York I mean you, and you'll see everywhere you go where they sell baseball caps or jerseys or shirts it's the Red Sox everywhere the Patriots everywhere and the Yankees everywhere okay so you will see that and they only like talking about their sports so just have a heads up for that um, which is funny because I say about the Yankees and you'll see people with their Yankees hats and flags and stuff like that but I want to say about New York is 
don't think that New York is New England. It's not. New England is a different part of the country. New York is a state that is separate from New England. New England is Connecticut, Rhode Island, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, okay? It's not New York, all right? So just a heads up. Though you will see all those Yankee, all, all the Yankee caps, you'll see the New York you know, license plates coming up here, especially during leaf heaping si time. But don't think that New York is New England, okay? Um, another don't I have for you is don't be surprised if you don't understand the slang here because, you know, it might not be the accent. It might just be the wording they use. You're like, what, what did he say there? Just ask the locals. They'll tell you what it means and they'll get a kick out of it. And probably one that'll get you when you have the little ones around with you. A milkshake here in New England is milk with a syrup in it stirred up, you know, like a chocolate milk kind of thing. So have a heads up for that one. One of my last don'ts I have for you is, if you're gonna be coming here in the winter, don't complain about the cold and the snow. I mean, there's a reason why White Christmas was based in Vermont, because like, oh, Christmas time, there's gonna be snow, snow, snow. It snows up here. And when it snows, it snows a lot. Deal with it. The locals do, and so should you, okay? It's just the way it is. And it can be pretty cool when it does come down that much, like, wow, I've never seen, like, meters of snow before yes it can happen okay so don't complain about it and the last don't I have for you and this is one that's near and dear to my heart is don't forget the whale if you're not sure who the Hartford Whalers are it's an old hockey team that's now left Connecticut it's now called something else we won't talk about but I know for me the whale is still right here and whenever I play NHL 94 on Sega back in the day and I still play today with my buddies I always play with the whale so I hope you have a great time when you do come here to New England it is a fantastic place to come whether you're a solo traveler a family traveler couples stuff like that there's tons of stuff to do inside and in historic sites and buildings you know there's all kinds of history up here for the American Revolution to, to more natural stuff there's lots of national parks there's also places you can I mean here in Connecticut I can go and put a plaster of a dinosaur footprint there's so many cool things to check out and enjoy when you are here in new england i do hope you come up here and visit and don't worry you will have a good time um, if you want to learn more five things you love and hate about coming to new england maybe you want to know the don'ts of boston specifically or five things you should eat when you come here check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on twitter facebook instagram youtube and we really appreciate your likes subscriptions we hope you have a great time here in new england but we're sure you will and if you do come to mystic the mystic seaport down the way actually a pretty cool place to check out bye from mystic so i do have another don't for you when you are eating your lobster when you are here don't be too proud to wear the bib because believe me, it will save your shirts, your pants, and a lot of trouble. And also, sometimes they have these little things down here, so if you lose a little piece, you can grab it out and enjoy it. So, just a little lobster done for you. Bye from Abbott's. Oh yeah? If you have a kid, you should do the um, pincher trick. Yeah, don't forget, if you've got kids, they like the little pincher thing. So, thanks Lee, appreciate it. <laughs>